Hey everyone, it's Chila here from Southern ASS. Today I'm going to show you a really, really pretty old tube nails. What I'm going to create on my nails. But first of all, let's just take a look the product what I'm using today. I love autumn. This is the favorite time of my of the year, so I can't wait to create more and more and more autumn nails. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite time of the year. Autumn or Christmas or Halloween or spring or summer. Please let me know. Don't forget to use my discount code which is Zara at the checkout on the Nails by Annabelle's website. As you can see, I already applied my tips, which is the extreme length, and I absolutely love this. This is my favorite. I love, love long nails. On my index finger, I'm going to create a nice, deep smile line. I applied my first bead, I making sure the side walls are nice and straight, and pushing it with the side of the brush, and then tapping the, the surface. And because this is a very deep smile line, I'm going to apply my base in um, three beads. The first, I created the, the smile line and the side walls, and with the second, I just made sure the apex is in, in the right place. And the third one, I'm creating a very clean cuticle area. But don't worry if the side walls are not really neat because you can always file it down with your file. On my pinky finger, as you can see, I haven't filed my nail because I'm going to create a gloss nail. On this finger, I'm almost creating a marble nail, but it's actually not really a marble. I'm just applying the color diagonally shape on the nail. So if you're struggling with doing marble, this would be the perfect way for you to create it. And then, of course, I apply lots of lots of glitters. Firstly, I'm using Choco Berry Crush, which I only recently bought. And I don't even know why I haven't had it before, because I really love it. In autumn time, I think that's one of the best. That one and pumpkin. Oh, those together, it's heaven. Seriously, it's so good. On my middle finger, I'm only going to create a um, glitter fade. So it's very easy, nothing too difficult on this nail. And again, I'm using Choco Berry Crush Pumpkin. And I think I added some broken gold in there as well. Really small amount. On my thumb, I'm going to create an ombre nail and I'm starting from the bottom, coming down and I really like these two colors together. And here I'm adding those golden foils on the wet layer so it's very easy to apply it and it sticks to it straight away and it's very effective especially again in autumn time and of course some glitter on my ring finger I'm going to create a marble layer so first of all, I double dip my brush into those two colors and then making sure the cuticle area is nice and neat. And then I'm going in with three wet beads and then dragging the product up and coming down again 
I'm almost creating like an infinite design and I'm using the very tip of my brush to create this look. I have already fired my deep smile line and got rid of it the dust. Make sure you got rid of it the dust before you apply your product. First of all, I added the very dark one and then lighter one and then the orange one. And of course, I'm going to add some glitter because every single of my nail have some glitter on it. And I thought this nail cannot miss out on some glitter. As you can see here I'm already capping all of my nails in clear acrylic which is called glass slippers and make sure when you cap your nails and the glitter is shining back then you're going to file those off so just check your nails in every angle if any of the glitter is sparkling then you're definitely going to file it off so I would look out for this because we don't want to lose glitters, right? That's one of the best part of the nails, glitter. I love glitter. So after I kept all of my nails, I'm going to use my metal fire with 150 grit and I'm going to file every single of my nails. I love to see them these nails dusty i really like this set so as you can see here i already removed the dust and everything and i'm applying no work top coat and look at that nail is so beautiful isn't it so i will cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds and i'm making sure i wait about a minute to cool it down before i apply any kind of gems or cuticle oil or anything please let me know in the comment what do you think of this set if you're going to recreate it please tag me or glitter bars or nails by annabelle because we would like to see your creations and don't forget you can purchase all of these products from Annabelle's website and use my discount code which is Zara at the checkout. I really hope you like this video because I really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and see you in the next video. Bye!